video we will be looking at your november 2022 grade 10 accounting paper 2 uh, today we will be doing your value added tax and ethics which is question 2 of this paper so question 2 is worth uh, 30 marks for 24 minutes so 2.1 we are doing concepts and then you're supposed to indicate whether the following statements are true or false right only true or false in your answer book so 2.1.1 the supply of educational services is an example of a vet exempt item so education does not uh, have any vet charged on it so this is true all right so just going to quickly check on our answer book and fill that in it's true and then the second one it's 2.1.2 says vet is not charged on goods taken by the owner for personal use so these are what we call drawings so when the owner with uh, withdraws goods from the business vat is charged so here it says vat is not charged which means this is false and then 2.1.3 it says brown bread and milk are examples of zero rated items so remember that when we're talking about zero rated items we're talking about items that have vat but it is charged at zero percent so this is true for both bread and milk okay so 2.1.4 we continue it says vat is charged on salaries and wages this is false because on salaries and wages what you pay or what you are charged is what we call income tax or the pay as pay as you earn tax okay so 2.1.4 that is false and then 2.1.5 it says a business with an annual turnover of 50,000 and above may register voluntarily as a vet vendor so this is true okay so if you have a turnover of 50,000 and above you can just uh, decide to register your your business as a vet vendor so now 2.1.6 vet output is charged on all taxable goods and services supplied so this is true so this is true for all goods and services that are taxable okay now we get to your calculations in 2.2 so it says complete the table below by filling in the missing amount in your answer book you have 2.2.1 we're gonna do a b c d e f and g okay so what we need to note here is that we are given an amount excluding that in this first column which is a hundred percent now we are given the vet amount which is at 15 percent but 100 plus 15 will give you 115 percent so when you add the amount excluding vet plus the vet will give you at the end your amount including vet so i'm just going to introduce a formula to you guys it go it goes what you want what you want over what you know multiplied by the given amount okay so here we are looking for a we are also looking for b but we are given an amount of 2415 we know that this 2415 is 115 percent we know that a is 100 percent and we know that b is 15 percent so how do we work out a and b so let's start by working out a so a what we want is 100 percent it's 100 over what we know we know that 2415 is 115 percent right so it's 115 percent multiplied by the given amount which is 2415 so let's quickly get the calculator and see 
what that amount um will give okay so it's it's a hundred it's a hundred over hundred and fifteen times two thousand four hundred and fifteen which is two thousand one hundred okay so for b what you can do is just simply take two thousand four hundred and fifteen minus 2100 and simply get your 15 percent because this amount plus b will give you 2415 so it's 2415 minus 2100 which will give you 315 it's 2415 minus 2100 which is 3 15 okay so now we go to c c it's 2.2.2 amount excluding vat we are given 840 c we know that c is 15 percent of this amount of the amount excluding vat so we're supposed to calculate 15 percent is what you want what you know is 100 multiplied by the given amount of 840 so let's just take our calculation to to the answer book okay so this is our calculation then let's see what we get so it's 15 percent of 840 which is 126 okay so we move on now to d so we have done c a b and a so now we move on to d we can simply add because here we got 126 840 plus 126 that's how we can get our d so it is 840 plus 126 which will give you roughly 966 okay and then e we are done with d now E, we have 6,300. You are given the VAT amount. Alright? So we are given the VAT amount, but what we want is a 100. What we want, right? What we want over what you know. We know only 15%. Okay? The given amount is 6,300. So let's take our calculation. So there we go. I got a calculation there. Okay, so it's a hundred over fifteen. Okay, let's see. Times six thousand three hundred, which is forty two thousand. Alright. So now F, let's see what we have on F. F you can simply add this is forty two thousand. You add forty two thousand with six with six thousand three hundred. So it's 42,000 plus 6,300. And that will simply give you 48,300. Okay. See how easy this is. Now you move to the last one. We've done E and, and, and F. So we move to the last one, which is G. So G is pretty simple also. You get uh, 650 here. You add with 97 uh 97,5 0 so it's 650 and 6650 plus 97,5 0 so let's quickly get our calculator and see what we get there all right so it's 650 plus 97,5 so that will give you okay let's not include the r I'll give you seven four seven comma five zero. Okay, so you are done with your calculations and you have your full fourteen marks. Now two point three. This is where we're talking about ethics now. So ethics, it says explain the difference between tax evasion, we have tax evasion, and now we have tax avoidance. So these are two different concepts. They might seem similar. Um, they are both talking about tax, 
one is talking about evasion one is talking about avoidance so what is similar between these two terms whenever we are talking about tax evasion and tax avoidance avoidance we're talking about making means to pay less tax okay so both focus on paying on paying less tax but here's the difference okay so both are focused on on paying less tax but the difference between the two we have tax evasion okay so tax evasion is using illegal legal methods to pay to pay less tax okay and then tax avoidance tax avoidance is using legal using legal methods to pay less tax all right so that's the difference this is the difference using illegal methods but tax avoidance uses legal methods okay so now we are going to move to the second one 2.3.2 it says jay-z traders bokang is the owner of jay-z traders he donated goods to the value of five thousand excluding vet so to his brother's business that has been recently struggling to make profit he instructed the bookkeeper not to charge vat on this transaction so for a it says bokang has conducted himself unethically explain the action taken by sars against the vat vendors who conduct themselves unethically so if you conduct yourself unethically this is where you do tax evasion so you're using illegal methods because bokang said here they shouldn't um they shouldn't charge vat on on this transaction so whenever goods are donated in, into the business by an, any individual that output is supposed to be charged into the business so now if you are doing tax evasion sars is going to prosecute you or you are going to be charged penalties for not adhering to the, the regulations of, of sars so the first thing what you're going to do, SARS, is going to open, let's say, open a case. Okay, so let's say um, defraud, uh, defrauding SARS, defrauding SARS may lead, may lead to prosecution. And then finally, we can add that the business, the business may face, may face penalties. So the business may be required to pay extra money for defrauding SARS. Okay. So in, on, on B, which is the last question, it says provide one reason why that should be paid to SARS on this transaction. I think I said this, that whenever goods are, are, are donated to the business by an individual, then that should be charged. But if they were donated, let's say, to uh, a charity or any organization that is charitable, then that output there is not charged. And that would be your tax avoidance. Now, your answer here, it could be, VAT, okay, so VAT, say, because it's VAT output, VAT output is charged, is charged on goods that, okay, goods that are donated, donated to a business, okay, to a or the business by um an individuals a 
an individual an individual by an individual so you can it it, can, it could be the owner or it it could be anyone so now we have come to the end of our question um thank you so much for watching don't forget to share like um subscribe and share with your and drop a comment on anything that you might need help with uh, regarding accounting i will definitely see you in the next video